We go now to that smash and grab incident in Mansfield. A group of thieves broke into a smoke shop and took off with thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. Yeah, this whole thing was caught on the store's security cameras. NBC 10's Jericho Tran spoke with the owner of the shop. She's live in Mansfield with what they had to say about this crime. Jericho? Well, I can tell you he was really heartbroken. He has about 25 stores and says this has never happened before. You're taking a live look right now at some of the damage here. When police tell us a group of about nine people broke these glass cases here, stole some of the merchandise over here, all after breaking the glass through this front door, which is now all boarded up. The heist began minutes after one on Monday morning. Flashlights pierced through the windows of Brothers Smoke Shop before someone smashed through the window and reached in to unlock the front door. About nine people entered the shop at 12 Pratt Street, some with hoods, others brazenly showing their faces, all making a mad dash for the glass counters. Everything was messed up. Smoke shop owner Malik Kumar Panchal just opened up four months ago and never thought his store would be a target. I was sad. It's never happened in Mansfield like this. One man took an armful of tobacco while another woman filled a plastic bag with pipes. Someone even cleaned out the register, leaving only a dollar left, while another thief smashed the glass on the counter, grabbing lighters, vapes, paper, and cartridges. And it's all children's. 16, 17 years old. Take a closer look at the people responsible. Do they look familiar? Have you seen them around? In about a minute, this group stole more than $20,000 worth of merchandise before hopping over the counters, leaving more than $10,000 worth of damage. I was really bothered. Like, this isn't something that really happens here. And shop owners are making sure this will not happen again. They have placed these steel bars on the windows as well as the door right here. Police say they are still looking for the people responsible and that tips can be turned in anonymously. In Mansfield, Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston.